let's recap everything we've done so in here we did uh on phase one we did this react native house iot raspberry pi 4 let's try to mark this okay so we tried to to initialize uh, a react native project from scratch and then we deploy it in our android mobile phone and it was working so now that's done we also went to amazon iot we we set up we the configuration and other things the endpoint the iam and cognito users and this is done and we also tested using this library to make sure that it's it is working let's mark that as well all right so the third one in phase three we also clone a library and this library is the one that we use to run in raspberry pi so it is run by python and we also tested it it was working the solenoid lock actually open and lock now we are here in phase four so let's finish this project once and for all let's go to our browser and now wait we're going to here cd to our project folders and then let's go to this repository this one Let's go down and we're going to clone this one. Now that's done. Let's go inside. And then we're going to create a vim. That uh, env file. So I think I should just open a visual code studio a new window okay i'm gonna create a file that env and then i'm gonna copy all of this save it and then in the previous work let's choose this one let's check our search and open it up we're gonna copy the endpoint from here ETS goes to MQTT ID now for the pool ID also goes here pool ID and copy the region and then the client ID right here and for the identity pool ID goes here and that's it the next step is this one Let's check. Let's try to run it in our simulator if it works. Almost done.
so there it is all right let me refresh it again while my raspberry pi is turned on it should connect there it is it is now connected so let me try up unlocking it lock okay so it is working now let's close this up next so what are the next step the next step is phase one we're going to go into this folder and then run this it will create a react iot that case store and also this react alias goes here and let's run this password name organization city province enter that's done now let's go back to folders okay now we're going to edit I run this code and then we're going to run this gradle.properties we're going to edit that if we go here let's go to android then gradle.properties so in here we're going to copy all of this and paste it all in here so change this password whatever you input and also the alias whatever you have put in here and also your case store name and make sure that your case store is inside android slash app okay this is done we're going to android app build that gradle and we are going to copy this release android app build that gradle let's find signing configs let's put it here okay that's all uh, you can you can ignore this this one causes some errors and now we're going to into this folder let's navigate that by folder explorer let's go here So let's check this again and properties we're gonna check 192 but 192 by 192 we're going to resize this image size 192 okay so this one is good i think that's good already save as png save it there and desk this one I'm gonna rename it and another one I'm gonna delete this put it here and that's it so we now have our app icon and the icon should be 192 by 192 pixels and we have to change our name the name of the app it's inside android app source main rest values strings let's call this smart map. and that's done now we're going inside the android
now that we are inside we're going to run this for first timers you can do this but for me let's go to issues I experienced something like this because if you're going to rerun twice the the build is going to cause something like the signature is different from the previous one so you have to uninstall the project the one that's cache in the signature and I am going to run this this is for people who have bugs because I am experiencing react native build success but no epic key so I'm going to run this but for you guys I think on first time you will see your epic key so where to find the epic key you already know that in the phase one if you check this folder if you find the release and there's an epic key that means you're good to go now let's wait for this alright now that's done let's check if I have epic key app build outputs apk ah uh, see i i don't have it there should be a release folder here so that means i'll have to run this it's building okay it's done let's check the apk there it is release and up release that epic now i'm going to upload this to my phone and install it <laughs> 